what's going on? Glad to see you guys back here once again on motherboards.org. You guys know me, I'm Elric, and today we're going to introduce a new product to you guys from the people over at Sapphire. Now, fans of the AMD series of cars know that right now there's a price war going on between the people at AMD and the people at NVIDIA, and that pans out being good for you. If you guys don't know, all the price and all the cards have been slashed by at least 50 bucks. Now, this card we're looking at today, this is the new VaporX Gigahertz edition of the HD 7970. This card is geared for multi-monitor technology. Just want to mention that a lot of people out there ask what the 6 gigabyte card is about. The 6 gigabyte card is about multi-monitor iFinity technology. The 3 gigabyte card, if you're using a standard monitor, is going to play all your games. But when you start doing resolutions of 7860 by 1440 or larger, you're needing plenty of pixel pumping action and those 6 gigabytes coming as a powerhouse. But with that said, let's do the unboxing of first look at this brand new product from Sapphire. All right, everybody, it's like any good unboxing. We're going to start off with, obviously, the books. So here it is, the Sapphire logo. It's the HD7970 VaporX Gigahertz Edition. If you guys don't know what VaporX is, it's their special breed of cooling, which keeps the card running very, very well. You guys all know by now it's PCIe 3.0. iFinity support right out of the box, four monitors. The card also has a dual BIOS, and it features the EC-OC boost, which basically you're going to hit a little switch. One is 950, one is 1,000. It's obviously the 6 gigabyte edition, so it's meant for multi-monitor technology. Now, I know you guys are always asking why I get the 6 gigabyte edition. The 6 gigabyte edition is not made to be faster than the 680. I know there's been a lot of controversy around that. That's not what this card was geared for. This card was actually geared for kicking ass on multi-monitor technology on a 680, and it actually does that. So it does what it says. Flip around the back, not much there. Got the chick once again. She was in the front of the box too, giving us attitude like she's some crazy AMD bra with a pissed off attitude. Now that said, we'll go ahead and start peeling this little tape off. Didn't have to even use any knives the last couple unboxings. Get the box out here. One thing good about these guys though, they always do give you a lot of shiznick inside of their box. I mean, when you get their stuff, they have a lot of stuff. So check that out. Oh, look at that, right side up. I've mastered the art of the Sapphire box. So. Here's the card, but we'll get that to the next. Let's first talk about the accessories, because those are really what usually set stuff on the products apart. That and a pretty good warranty program, too. So check it out. Lots of stuff in the box from these guys, always. So let me pull it out. So I'll set it back in the box. So this is going to be kind of different. Instead of doing an unboxing, I'll do a reboxing. Here we go. Right here, we can see we've got the mini display port to standard display port adapter. HDMI cable. Next up, we have the Molex to 8 pins. So if you guys have old school power supplies that don't have the two 8 pin connectors, you can hook this up to your old power supply. Make sure you have enough power to power your card and make sure you always plug those in. Next up, we have the main display port to DVI connector. You're going to be wanting to use this. Pay attention to this cable because you're going to need it when you do your affinity setup. Very important. The Crossfire connector cable. This card can be used in quad crossfire configurations. Here's the DVI to VGA connector. Driver CD and case badge, which is now flying all over the place. Case badge, good stuff. And last but not least, the Sapphire Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide, and then, dun dun dun, the Sapphire Club. You join this club, and this takes care of all your warranty stuff, lets you get a contest, all the rest. So now let's look at the beast of the card. So, right off the bat, folks, let me just tell you, this card is heavy. It actually is. This card weighs quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull it all out of here. Now, this thing is a giant-sized card. I'm going to set it down so the cameraman can get some better angles. He hates it when I move all over the place like a, like a wild man. But, hell, I am a wild man. I don't know what the frick this guy expects. But, anyways, let's check it out. Two fans right here on top. Clearly see it says VaporX. Now, VaporX technology, it's pretty much a lot like the DirectCU stuff you see from ASUS. They, those guys use kind of similar type technologies. This directly mounts right onto your GPU. It then goes out into the aluminum heat fins, and you have all of these pipes right here, which are the heat pipes, and they help take all that heat away from your GPU, allowing it to be cool. And then these fans, they blow that heat further away from the card. Here's your PCIe 3.0 interface. 
Now, it's really hard to tell us by looking at it, but the people at Sapphire do use very, very high quality components. You hear everybody out there throwing names on them like military class two, this, that, or the other. These guys use their own version of black diamond parts and they're their own stuff. It's really good. Flip it around. Just give you guys another angle of the card. In fact, I'll try to angle just a little bit more here so you guys can see inside the car. Hopefully the camera can get a good shot of that. We'll flip it around the side over here. We'll spin the angle around so you guys can get a better look at that. So first off, I'm going to spin it around one more time with all these different angles, but let's look at the back. So one thing I really like about this card, I know all of you guys are going to agree, having the PCB completely covered, I think is awesome. That means I can set the card down and I don't have to worry about any of my electronic components getting broke because they're all covered by a shield. So up here on top, we're going to go over here. We have a couple things here. Here are the two crossfire fingers. And then right underneath here is the boost button. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's in there. Right here, click it on, click it off. Down here we go further in the card, we see the two eight pin power connectors. And just for an alternate view of the card, you guys can see that. Those are probably gonna see when it's inside your system. Got a couple nice little light gizmos right here. Let's see the rear I.O. of the card. We've got two DVI, one HDMI, and we can see AMD is continuing on their trail of two mini display ports. I really wish these guys would change this. I really prefer a standard display port cable. I know you guys have been working with Mac for years, but listen, just to give you information, Apple f you and you no longer have a deal, so change your card technology. I say that with love. But anyways, folks, there it is. That's it, man. HD 7970, six gigabyte goodness, VaporX, Gigahertz Edition, dual BIOS, boost switch, all kinds of crazy shit. Also, folks, if you feel like doing a little bit of a fat fap, go over and check out the link in the description below where we'll show you a full-on high-resolution prawn gallery of this new card. Peace out. Look for the reviews in a few days.